Hi, everybody. Tammy Granich here. Welcome to week 12. We're here. We're at week 12. How is everybody doing? How are you guys doing with your listings? I heard an awesome experience say that I am going to share if I can find it. Um, so my friend and, and partner, real estate partner, Gio Kroom, wrote to me that um, he emailed 57 people in his neighborhood a CMA a day challenge. So I can't wait to get the results of that. I know we've gotten to speak to quite a few people and um, people have gotten results that they never thought that they would. Um, and some of the highlights that I thought I'd share from um, previous speakers, we spoke to, um, we got one that was my absolute favorite called the dream book. And we talked about the dream book. When you're talking to your clients, ask them, how is your house working out for you? And it's such a great question because I thought I was just so excited to live here on the beach in my house. And now with COVID, I really want my own personal office space. I'm, I'm in a bedroom. Um, we've converted a bedroom into an office. And that's always been the way for me because I never was sitting at home as often. I was never sitting at home that much. But now I find that with Zoom meetings and now that I'm able to meet, interact with clients across the country as this is in this venue, um, I really, I'm in my office a lot more than I used to be. So having a, my own office space would be great. And then my husband actually needs office space. So office space, um, I've heard people say they wish they had a library or a special room, a, like their, a kid's room for the kids to go and do like their, their thing and, you know, separate from the TV, like different from the family room. So the dream book I thought was an awesome idea. And then also we talked to a couple other agents and I have to say the theme running through everything and every agent that I've spoken to is your database. Every single agent that I interviewed over these last 12 weeks have just done their database. Newer agents have gone after their neighbors um, for sale by owners, but no one has gone after, um, but everyone has worked in their database. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. Focus. So, but everyone is using their database. They're not spending money on these leads and they're being very successful. So I'm looking forward to um, our wrap up party and I'm gonna get some statistics for you so that we can really um, get an idea of really how everyone has been doing this. So I am flying solo today. My guest speaker was not able to make it, but I do know what he's doing. James Shaw has a group on Facebook called Pivot and he has been doing it every single day since COVID started. So I guess like March, 17th or March 18th, whatever that date was, 2020. He's been having a, it started out as a book club. I was very loyal to it in the beginning, um, very loyal to his book club. And then um, he's, it's continued on and on and on. He's got quite a following um, and he's been right around the time that I started my CMA a day challenge with all of you, he started a similar listing challenge and he calls it the golden letter. So I found that uh, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna play a video of someone who talks about how she's been doing it, the success that she's been having and actually the verbiage to do it. So if video is not your thing and technology is not your thing, this might be an option for you to do. So I'm gonna play this for you and then we'll, we'll talk about it when we're done. So hold on for one moment. Would you be interested in selling your home to a client of mine? Well, that is exactly the script for the golden letter. 
Hey, I'm Jenny Wallach with the Wallet Group here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the golden letter, maybe you've heard about it, maybe you've heard about the golden text, whatever you want to call it. We are sending letters to specific neighborhoods to target potential sellers. If your inventory is low like ours, I'm sure that it is, then you know how desperate we are to find great properties to sell for all of our qualified and motivated buyers. So this is something that we implemented. Our friend Laura Hyatt trained us on how to actually do it. And it just really includes a very simple letter that goes in the mail to targeted properties or neighborhoods. Now, what we've been doing is we just add it to our just listed, just sold, with all of our listing processes. So whenever we get a property that most likely sells really fast, over asking price with multiple offers, we are targeting that neighborhood. We're sending out a hundred letters around that house. The letter is a letter. It's not a postcard. It is just on our letterhead. And that is exactly the script. Would you be interested in selling your home to a client of mine? Now, of course you could get more specific in details. You could use a version of it by saying, we had multiple offers, it sold for this much over asking price, if you want to. And, you know, like my friend James Shaw says, is why say blah, 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 when blah will do. So what you do is you put the mail into the mailbox, you hand address the envelope, stamp it, and if, I don't even think you have a return label on it because we want them to open the letter and read it. Now, so far we've gotten back some phone calls, we've gotten some appointments set, and this could be a tedious task. It does take time to handwrite, to get in the mail, but the results could be amazing. So if you could generate one new listing, it for sure pays for all of your effort and your time. Now, one thing that a lot of people are asking me is, well, what do you say when they actually call? Well, really, you're just going to do the same simple script that you would call with, you know, have with anyone calling in. You want to qualify them, you know, get some details. Let me gather some of your information, you know, what's your address, what's your name, let me get all your contact info, and then are you open to selling? Or had you been thinking about selling or maybe this letter just spurred it on? And then have you been working with an agent? We always want to ask that question whenever we call people. So we want to get to know about their house them, their motivations, all the typical questions you would ask anyone. And then lastly, you know, we are just going to say that if our buyer is a match for your home, what does your timeline look like? And then we let them know, thank you for all of this. I've taken great notes. I'm going to get back with our team and we'll see if our buyer believes that this is a great match for them and we'll let you know. So that's it. You at least have somebody who has raised their hand that they're interested in selling. And in this market, that's what we need to find, people who are ready to go and take advantage of this awesome low inventory, high demand, and high market value properties that we're seeing. Let me know if you have any questions or have any other ideas. Talk to you later. Bye. So Jenny Wallach is her name. I'm going to have to call her. How great would it be to interview her about this? And it's so simple, right? Do you know any, would you be interested in selling your house to one of my clients? And then, so maybe you write one of those letters every single day. Can you imagine writing that 365 days? Or let's just go with the rest of the 13 weeks of the year and you write it 60 times. So you write 60 letters and then what kind of results are you going to get? So maybe the technology piece doesn't work for you, but how about writing a letter? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Tammy Cranage, and I am a lender with Loan Depot and I specialize in helping you realtors win deals, find deals, save deals, close deals. I protect your commission and I protect our clients. I offer them the greatest home buying experience that I possibly can. So thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to join us again next week where we have Cody Gibson rounding up and wrapping all this up and putting a good a bow on it for us. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.